All our faculty, friends, alumni, students, and well-wishers. As the president of the J. Newton, I have the honor and privilege of sharing with each of you the JNU Teachers Association's enthusiasm and unwavering commitment to hold up the core values of this glorious academic and research institution to which we all belong. That you all are very well. JNU with its much deserved robust reputation in higher education across the world. And all the um, you know, uh, senior colleagues who are on stage, we have them to thank for. It would be an understatement to say that JNU has been going to challenging times in the past few years, just like our country is, just like the world is. Been, we have been subjected to slander of all kinds. In the face of the assault, JNU's institution has regained its legacy of still being revered as a top-ranking academic institution of the world. Perhaps that has been possible because of the core values of the institution and the steadfast commitment of the people, of all of you, actually. It is indeed a moment of pride and joy. It is against this backdrop the Jane Utah is organizing Mosaic 2023, a four-day program that celebrates, reaffirms our commitment to those foundational values. The values of unity, diversity, solidarity, empathy and freedom, and thought and expression. Thus, the theme is all, you know, what we can all relate to is expressed in the world. Jute, Jote, Jenu. Please participate wholeheartedly and happy mosaic experience. So a regular component of mosaic is this discussion, which we are calling Agda, because we want to give it, you know, a very interactive, very informal sort of a, you know, uh, character. And this is the next of conversation that will begin at each day of this event. Yesterday, we had an exciting opening Agda on feminist perspectives on home, work, and law, organized by my Vice President Aisha Kibar. Today, we shall revisit the founding aspirations behind JNU's academic ethos and the efforts made over time to shape JNU as an inclusive space of excellence, to see what was achieved, and even more, what remains to be done. We could not have hoped for a better panel to address these themes than what we have today. So it is a great pleasure that I welcome John Kinair as a moderator for today's panel. <laughs> John Key needs no introduction to a JNU audience. She was, but I don't like to use the past tense. She is a professor of history at Jawaharlal Nehru University, India. And she sort of, um, you know, sort of went out of the teaching system in 2020. She has published, published extensively in the social, cultural, and political history of modern India. She's also a scholar and public intellectual who intervenes actively on issues related to gender, education, and democracy. Her most recent book publication is an edited volume on common schooling, educational experiments in 20th century India by Orient Black Swan. It is a special pleasure to welcome John Key to Jose. She was one of the key coordinators of the Nationalism Lecture organized by Jane Utah in 2016, as well as two publications on JNU, What the Nation Really Needs to Know, the JNU Nationalism, and the JNU Stories of First 50 Years. Let me hand over to John Key and invite her to introduce a very distinguished fellow panelist and start off the conversation. But before I hand over to John Key, you know, on behalf of Jane Newton, we would really like to thank, for, without whom this could not have happened, without whom we could not have done the mobilization, and that is our fabulous team of volunteers. Thank you. 